We are in the third week of our Be Reach series. We, um, we had M- we've had MK Act come in and they've told us a little bit about what they've done. Um, then we got HM- we had HMP Prison, Woodhill Prison last week that came in to share about that ministry. And today we have another awesome awesome charity that we'd like to talk about and that is our homelessness that's from the YMCA and we've got Nia Haynes that's going to come and share with us in a minute but just watch the screens for now and she'll come up and tell you a bit more about that in a sec where do I belong a simple question without a simple answer for some people it's their home their family or their job but what does it feel like not to belong at all one soul amongst the red ways and roundabouts. In need of a friend, in need of a new purpose. We know that everyone deserves to belong, deserves independence in a space of their own that feels secure and feels safe. Deserves the opportunity to learn new skills and embark on new ventures. Most of all, everyone deserves a community, one that unconditionally welcomes, respects and supports them that will give them a voice, just when they need it. One that will restore the confidence to get back out there and become everything they deserve to be. Because to belong at YMCA Milton Keynes is to know you are not alone. Hi, I'm Nia. I work for YMCA Milton Keynes. Um, I've been there about a year. I work in the development and fundraising team. Um, Just firstly, I'd like to say thank you for the support that you've already given us. I know Arlene dropped off some um, some toiletry packs for Christmas, which was amazing. They're used for our residents in supported living, who quite often arrive without very much at all. So to be able to give shampoo, toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrushes is hugely appreciated. Thank you. Uh, Why do we need a YMCA in Milton Keynes? Well, last year, the Milton Keynes Homeless Partnership, which we're a part of, found that the levels of homelessness in Milton Keynes are very concerning and that they're increasing at a greater rate than everywhere else. It was estimated that one in every 94 people in Milton Keynes are without a home. That doesn't necessarily mean street homelessness. That could be sofa surfing or in unstable accommodations. There's lots of different types of homelessness that we support. Uh, We also have the the, the not very nice crown of being 37th nationally for our homelessness rates. Most of the other cities that are above us are... uh, sort of inner cities, Birmingham, Manchester and London. Hence the need for the YMCA to support our young people. We moved into our new campus uh, just before the first lockdown, which was challenging in itself. We've still managed to have some huge successes that we're really proud of. Uh, Since then, about 350 young people have called YMCA home. Uh, Despite the challenges, we've managed to get 50 of those young people into employment. Uh, We have specialist counselling. At least 20 of our young people have accessed that long term. Uh, We also have drop-in sessions which support a lot more young people that might just need somebody to talk to. We run activity sessions. They are physical or therapeutic, so it might be craft sessions, it could be football, it could be yoga. They go on every day and at least 100 of our residents access these regularly. It's just an additional level of support for people and it provides purpose to to a day. Uh, we've got 28 businesses in Milton Keynes, new businesses in fact that have partnered up with us that offer their own support for employment, apprenticeships, volunteering, which is amazing. Um, And just our need is there. We've currently got 50 people waiting, 50 young people waiting to come in to do a, a meet and greet, which is the sort of initial stage before you're offered a home to see how we can help or if we're the right place for you. Oops, sorry. Uh, lastly, just moving forward, things that we always need, bedding, toiletries, kitchen essentials. We like pe- People come with nothing. Our young people turn up with nothing. We like to provide them with toothpaste, toothbrush, as I've already said, plate, a mug, a glass, cutlery, things that make people feel valued. Um, 
And as far as volunteering, our volunteering isn't quite up and ready to go yet, but from about May, we will be looking for people to come and help in supported, serve, cook, and um, deliver meals to our young people who, there's 30 residents in supported, and they have an evening meal in our cafe every evening. Thank you very much.